Uh, Lavinia, it's quite an unusual um, set of names and genres on this shortlist. Why? Because those are the books we came up with. I mean, our discussions were, were so intensely about the art of fiction that until we surfaced with the eight we'd chosen, we didn't know who they were, you know, whether it was men, women, which country they came from, what, even what kind of fiction they were writing. But the thrilling thing is that these eight books take a range of very sharp angles on the idea of fiction. So there's, there's an, uh, a book that purports to be poetry, but turns out to be a narrative. There's um, an extraordinary kind of dislocated, detonated, sense of writing that comes up in two of them. There are, there's a, a woman writing in a first person male voice. There's a woman taking on traditional epic male territory. Uh, there's all kinds of things going on. I just think it, we have inadvertently come up with a constellation that represents the most exciting and uh, you know, groundbreaking things being done in fiction today. I think we've been given permission to only think about the art. And because we're writers, we're and not the person writing it. Yes, exactly. And we, I, I, to, to be fair, I don't. Th I think other prizes do the same. They just really are about the books, and then afterwards you look at what you've got. But other prizes have different criteria. Ours was emphatically to find the best writing we could. And because writing is what we do, what we live and breathe, we are listening very, very closely to the engine and for anything that doesn't sound quite right. But you know, we're there essentially to be good readers and we want, like any other reader, to lose ourselves in a world. So what we've produced isn't work which we think is very difficult or challenging, you know, sort of high art idea, mm. but it, work which is incredibly artful in the best sense. I had got a bit worried about where fiction was going about 10 years ago and uh, finding myself reading less and less contemporary fiction, but this being a judge for the Folio Prize has restored me to reading contemporary fiction because I think we're coming into a really exciting time where all kinds of boundaries are being broken. And not only that, but at the same time, there is an emphasis on, as at the same time as there's an emphasis on high art, there's an emphasis on creating a really good read.